był na tak zwanym Airplay Charcie, czyli liście najchętniej odtwarzanych kawałków w naszym kraju w 2022 roku bardzo wysoko ze sprawą singla Melody, a dzisiaj jest w naszym studiu. Sigala in hello. our studio. Hi, hello, I was talking about your single Melody because it was a great boom in Polish radio oh, station. It was one of the most playing single all really? over the year. Wow. You didn't hear about it. Only just now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we played it all in all, oh, and Airplay amazing. Chart said that it was one of the most played wow. single from all the songs all over the world wow. in Polish radio station. That's incredible. Thank you. And that's your success. And, yeah, but thanks for all your support as well, everyone that's played it. It's, yeah, that's incredible. I was just saying about Nice Try, because this is the man that titled his last song Radio, so we we, we are not able to put it to, on the, our uh, chart and our playlist. We had to do that radio. <laughs> this is a great song, I must say. Thank you. Um, yeah, I love it. It's been loads of fun working with M and EK. Uh, he's like somebody that I've been obsessed with for years and uh, finally got the chance to work with him. So yeah, it was good. This is something I would call a danceable love song because it is about yeah. love. Yeah, I think that's like something that I always do with my songs. I, I think I have like five songs with the name love in the with the word love in the title. Uh, came here for love. Love. Give me your love. Give me your love. Sweet love. So, uh, sweet, uh, sweet Easy love. love. Um, it's love. It was a great hit. It was your beginning, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's my first song. Yeah. That, that boomed so much. Yeah. And... Yeah, that was an exciting time. That was, yeah, my first ever single. 2015, yeah. I guess. Yeah, very good memory. And this is the song you wrote in your bedroom? This, yeah. this one? Yeah. Do you still write a song right there? Uh, yeah, I write wherever. I do a lot of like stuff on airplanes or in my living room or wherever, really. I have a studio as well if I'm working with other people. And it's, you know, you go to the studio, but generally like I can just work wherever situation just happened a while ago because when Sigala arrived to our studio he told me that he made a song named Hochme because you liked Hochme, this yeah. word in Polish. We, I was trying to learn some some new words and Hochme, am I saying it right? Hochme, Hochme. yeah Hochme, it's yeah. very good. I just thought it sounded cool and it means let's go and I thought it would be cool in a, in a dance tune. So we were just like, making it. You have to wait till the end of this interview to hear a little bit of that because I will convince Sigala to, to put it exclusive here. Yeah? Oh, exclusive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we will play exclusive on Radio Esk on our YouTube channel. So uh, take your time. In a minute, you will be able to hear that. If you would be some person that would like to start today yeah. being a producer or DJ, yeah. what would you start from? As in, like, how, what would I do? Yeah, what would you do at first? I think, obviously, like, you need to, you need to do your homework, really, and you need to practice, whether it's an instrument or singing or production, like, it's all, it, it all revolves around practice. Like, I, I produced for years and probably, you know, 10 years before I made anything that was successful. Um, but, yeah, you just have to keep going, don't give up and just do something that you're passionate about. So that was something I learned when I released Easy Love in 2015, um, because that was the first thing I'd done in a long time that was, I, I don't know, it was just something that I made for myself for fun, whereas before that I was trying to make all this music that I thought I was supposed to make or things that were on trend or certain genres that were successful. And I was like, I'm just gonna do something for fun. and. I'd, you know, I'd done my homework by that point and I was like, I just found this acapella and, and worked on it and yeah, so like, do it was like a gut instinct for me, it was like, I need to do this and, and it, it really worked. So sometimes we just have to let it go. Yeah, I think and so. let it be. Just like, think less about pleasing everyone else and just, if you're going to make music, the best music is the stuff that really comes from in here and is is sort of true to the artist and that's the stuff that i think people relate to and they can they can kind of see through if something's fake or um you know not a genuine part of you in the, in the music so that's such something i've learned but yeah a lot of hard work as well <laughs> you also play an instrument that's not a secret is it something that uh, allow you to make your music easier in easier way 
I because think, there are many producers in yeah, DJ no, that don't sure. play any yeah. instrument. I mean, you absolutely can can make loads of mu- different genres of music without playing an instrument at all. Um, but I think for my music, because I make pop music and dance music, it's so important to have those chords. And for my music anyway, it's really built around um, around songwriting and just it always starts with a song. So chords and and lyrics and melody. And so if I wasn't able to play the piano, I think it would be a lot more difficult. And I, I'd probably still be making music, but I'd probably be making different music that wasn't so based around um, chords and, and harmony. Um, but yeah, obviously there's loads of successful people that, 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 you know, you don't have to be able to play an instrument at all with a laptop, you know. But you called yourself pianist in heart. I yeah. read something about that. I think because that's that was my introduction to music from when I was about eight years old. Um, I started. Uh, my parents got me a keyboard for Christmas, and I was I just like played it for weeks and really started to enjoy it. And they got me piano lessons, and I was in like jazz bands and orchestras and things like this. And um, So I really started playing the piano and then I discovered dance music and I was like, how do I make the two sort of work together? This is the moment I start regretting that I didn't uh, use my piano I got from my parents for Christmas. <laughs> that well, a cigala, because maybe I will be in a different place right now. And there are many people that thought the same yeah. because there was a time that every kid in Poland got a piano, yeah. you know, just for play, for fun yeah. on Christmas. But it's never. It's But never there too are late, no, n- there are no more cigalas <laughs> in our country. It's never too late to start to start learning something new. I tried to start learning piano, playing piano four years ago. Yeah. Oh my God, it was so hard because yeah. your mind is, you know, your brain is not so good at yeah, learning, learning new things. Yeah, I know what you mean. But we learn new things all the time. Just... Did you try to learn a new instrument, like a few years ago, for example, because you um... decided to play then on trumpet? Uh, no, I mean, like, I've kind of taught myself a bit of guitar, just, but when I play the guitar, I'm thinking about how to play it on the piano and then going like this. And oh, so it's easier. It, yeah, it, obviously it helps. But um, like I learn, I'm learning new things about music and chords and like, I'm always researching and I'm, I Google like chord progressions to use for certain genres and There's like infinite things to learn and that never really stops. And do you remember the first song you made? Yeah, I do. And do you still have it somewhere? I do, yeah. Yes, you have it. Yeah, I was in like... On a computer and so on? It was, it was on my computer, yeah. I was in, uh, in high school and I just downloaded like my first ever music software. And my, there was a guy in my music class who, um, for one of our assignments, we had to write a piece of music. And he played this song on the bongos. It was called Halloween, Halloween Night. It was like a Halloween song. And we got the CD at the end of the class and everyone took the CD home. And I was playing his, his thing. It was like him singing on the bongos, this really cute guy. And, uh, and I was like, oh, maybe I can remix this. So I turned it into this like techno song <laughs> and then took it into school the next day. And by the end of the week, this... This kid was so famous in our school. Because like, of you. Everyone had that song as their ringtone. And this kid was like the most, he went from being like the least popular to the most popular kid in school. And, uh, and I was like, wow, this, this like music stuff is powerful. Oh, we have to show them, you know what? The sneak peek the beat. of the song. Yeah. Hotchmer. Hotchmer. Yeah. Are you ready for that? I hope so, because this is a great song. I don't know if we could put it on uh, airplay on the Radio Eska, but I will try and do my best to, to put it here, because I heard it and you will love that. Right, so this is, this is the sample. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I'm professional. Yeah, well, Hushmir. So that's, that's the recording, Hushmir. <laughs> and this is Sigala saying hot me. And then uh, we made a little we made a little bass line and a drum beat. Hush me, 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 hush me
There it is. That's it. And how long did it take you? Like five minutes? Yeah, we, just, we did it in the car. I just downloaded this app. It's really cool. Um, yeah, we'll keep working on that and hopefully have a, a three-minute version that you yeah, can play. Yeah, for Sunrise. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. the yeah. official version Main of Sunrise, Sigala, Hotme, Hotme na Sunrise. In Polish, come, let's go let's to go. Sunrise Festival. Yeah. Hotme na Sunrise. Love it. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. It will be a new hit. <laughs>